So I said it before and I'll say it again. Racism is a goddamn disease. And you know, I'm sick of people blaming these Syrian refugees for everything that's wrong in their country and their lives. See, there's always gotta be someone, there's gotta be always gotta be an other for us to stigmatize and the police to brutalize for daring to land on our shores. It's like the more things change, the more they stay the same. First it was those barbaric Native Americans we killed off to own this land. Then it was the savage Africans we forced here to exploit this land. Before you knew it, it was my papist Irish ancestors taking all the heat, even while they helped grow everything we so-called Americans used to eat. Then it was the Italians coming to look for opportunity, but finding only ghettos and a life of survival crime for us to define them by. Next came the Chinese to slave away on our railroads, connecting our land from sea to shining sea. At least until we stopped more of them from coming across that sea, with the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1892, that is. After that came boatloads of Eastern Europeans looking to escape a life of serfdom, only to find our worst jobs and a lack of a minimum wage that awaited them. Then came the Second World War and internment camps we forced the Japanese into, 130,000 of them between the US and Canada, while most of the German and Italian immigrants, read the white ones, were assumed loyal as proven otherwise. But of course, that, never tol that tolerance never even applied to all the people coming from those areas. Just ask anyone who sailed in the SS St. Louis in 1939, looking for asylum from the Reich's extermination of their people. FDR, the most progressive president this country ever had, refused to increase the immigration quota for them. And so they returned to Europe, where 254 of them died in the Holocaust. The war went on as ship after ship re was rejected entry into the US because of politicians too blind to see the imperiled humanity behind the maxed out immigration quotas. Meanwhile, so-called journalists spread fantasies about Jews spying for Hitler that even the president conveniently believed. And so, we come to, de to today. We come to the USA chanting Trump supporters, demanding a wall with Mexico and the deportation of Syrians fleeing a state as fascistic as the Nazis. We come to the bombs being dropped every day over Yemen, Afghanistan, Iraq, Palestine, and so many other places, all in the name of a white man's war on terror, by means of yet more terror. We come to everyone's obsession with Muslim terrorism, even though white supremacists have killed more people in this country since 9-11. We come to the Dylan Roofs and the loyal white knights of America. We come back to what most of those who aren't so rich and white as I have known for a long time. The fact that America, a land of immigrants, was born racist and hateful of immigrants. And worse, the fact that America, Cuh, cuh, never changed. <laughs>